Hi there, I'm Caesar. I'm back. Um, in this video, we'll do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a few things that are a bit annoying, like setting these values, the input port values on each node. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> uh, the other thing I noticed is there's no way to get the node back from the graph. So let's say one cool thing about having this uh, test as a method, uh, I can do stuff like return the graph from one test and another test. Uh, so let's say test um, clean up, whatever, right? That, that makes much sense, but well, this should be like test. Uh, get nodes from graph and test uh, it's really good I mean, it's better to have like really long names descriptives it's fine so the instead of like doing the entire graph again I just would say graph graph it's equal to self dot test what's the name a node connection so I know that that returns a graph um, so it would be nice to be able to say graph dot get node for example and we pass a name so node one so that's equal to node one right so node one is equal to that node two is equal to node two so we we need to define a name and here we can say like node one dot uh, get input port value uh, one uh, dot value is equal to ten. So we can change the value. Uh, we need to node one dot evaluate. So we can evaluate the node. It's, it's a valid node makes sense and um, yeah and we can do like the node 2 dot evaluate so we test that the connection is still there and everything is gonna work in and then we'll go test that node 2 get the result it's equal to uh, 25 is that correct? Yeah. So it's kind of cool that you can like return stuff from one test to the other. And you know, there's also like uh, setup functions. There's there are a whole, oh man, I forget about the timer. A whole set of tools around unit test, but let's keep it simple. So if I ever, if I run this, I can set like graph, there's no get node. Uh, so here's where stuff start getting interesting. So maybe instead of a set, I need a dictionary. So if I run that, now I can see that I have another error and there's no get node, of course the same error. So let's do it like this. Uh, get node, I need to pass the name and this will be equal to self that, um, this return self that notes dot get the name right so I get the node and now I see like all the tests fail because I changed the type to a dictionary and a dictionary object has no attribute at right so here's when you, you really start seeing like why testing is useful during the development and not like just a last thing to add to an ex already functioning already finished product basically so the way i add stuff to a dictionary is through 
so I need basically a name and that will be equals to the note so in that note I will probably need a name and the note type will have a name now and the way to remove something is Uh, like this What's wrong with this? Oh Sorry It's getting late. I'm start you know And this will be node.name probably We can do it like that if we want to pass the node So if I run this I have a whole set of errors um, basically, it says that at node takes exactly three arguments. All oh, the tests are failing because of that. And the problem is my test, when I add a node, I'm not passing any name. So let's fix that. So let's say this would be nodes. Uh, this would be... node right this could be node uh yeah node one this would be node two and if I run this uh, the problem is that nodes take exactly one argument and two are given so that means that the node now takes a name so it has a self.name equals name and that node well in it is doing nothing so we don't need that so if I run the test now all the other tests are passing except for oh that's 20 so I set that value I call evaluate so I can test like Let me add more test here. So I want to test that this is now not one is 10 plus what was value two 10. So this is 20. So let's run this. And it's failing now on line 50. So it's failing here. So we get the node 2. We evaluate that. And okay, so the problem seems to be that the connection is tricky. So the connection. It's setting the value just one time, right? So when we call connect, it set the value. And when we change the original value that it's being connected, it's not updating it. And it's setting the value, not, not it, it's not actually establishing a connection. So the way to fix this, uh, let me think so okay okay so okay so we will do a few things we would do we'll add an is connected like a flag but the default will be false that seems useful and when we connect it, we will say so if that is connected, 
will be equals to true to true right it's connected and then in the evaluation in the base class uh for port in self dot input ports uh, the values right because the dictionary we will make sure that all the connect the, the values from the connections are updated so we will say uh, if p dot is connected p dot value it's equals to we need to basically execute that uh, yeah, ex ex update that. So, uh, more things. So we probably need to save that output port. Um, yeah. Or maybe yeah. So, self dot uh, data source. It's equal to known uh, so we need to do that we need to solve the data source would be equal to the output port and then we'll do it like that So if it's connected, we'll say update value. So everything is passing now. So basically we add a, a get a node, yeah, a get node from the graph and we make it the connection to be uh, how to say this uh, to maintain to to be valid when you change values right on, on multiple evaluations so that's good the other good thing is as you can see we change uh, the type in which we're saving the the notes uh, having test like really help us to do it properly without breaking stuff uh, the other thing I would like to do, I don't know if we have time, that really annoys me, is how we set these values. So in the add node, it's really quick. It's more to... So here, we will support like keyword arguments. So... So we'll say for yeah key, key at and value in keyword arguments uh yeah dot either items oh so if uh, we'll try to get the port so p is equal to self dot get input port yeah i think that oh self not oh we need to do that in node node dot get input port sorry we look for the key so if there's no port we continue the next one otherwise we want to set that port dot value equals to the value oh actually we can do this it's fine 
so all the tests should pass and we can do in the add node now we can do value 1 equal 5 value 2 equal 10 so I think it's, it's a bit better uh, and, and we can also use the all syntaxes so that's good equal 5 value well just that so let's try this what's going on here Oh man, this it's equal to the value of the of the keyword. Man. Cool. So all tests are passing. Uh we have uh persistent connections and we can get nodes and set nodes. So that was it about the cleanup. So let's save this, so git, uh, uh, commit, everything, and uh, we'll say clean up, persistent connections, plus keyword arguments, uh, note names, okay, that's good enough. So that's it. So yeah, there you go. That's how, well, I think that the most useful thing in this video was how testing helped you to really change stuff uh, without breaking code. So yeah, that's the power of testing, basically in a nutshell. So in the next video, we will explore how to evaluate the nodes automatically. We will take a look at what's a push model what's a pool model maybe did an hybrid uh, so yeah we'll probably explore both ways and and see how the valuation change and all that stuff so fun stuff see you in the next one bye bye